Hello, my name is M. Blackstone. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I was the girl running around at the meets with the camera. Um, I've been with the team for four years, um, three of them running and then one of them as team photographer. I just want to thank my parents real quick for all the love and support they gave me the past four years and no matter what decision I made, no matter how good or bad I did at a meet, they're always there for me. Um, to my teammates, thank you for friendship, for love, for support. Um, I appreciate you guys and everything you've done for me. Um, to my coaches, I want to say thank you for pushing me, always pushing me to be the best person I could possibly be, the best runner I could be, and thank you for never giving up on me. Um, I just want to say to cross country in general, for four years the sport has made me into a person that I love and I just want to say that without cross country I'd be completely different. It's taught me values and hard work and dedication and I'm very thankful that I decided to show up that first day of practice freshman year. Um, and to my little sophomore brother, good luck the next two years and I wish you the wet best of luck. Um, anyway, that's it. Once a panther, always a panther. I'd like to start by thanking everyone who supported me this season. I really appreciate it. I'd also like to thank the girls team for making it such a great year um, despite the circumstances. I'm really glad that I got to run with everyone this year and I appreciate every one of the runners that was a part of the team. I wish I could have been here freshman year, uh, but I'm glad I joined when I did and I can't wait to run with you guys, hopefully this track season. Uh, thank you. All right, hello. Uh, I don't really know where to begin, so I'm just gonna begin from where I started. Uh, First, I'd like to thank Josh for officially inviting me one day before school last year and brought me into Swiss Room and basically recruited me into running cross country. Uh, I remember every day after that when I ran with Luke, Blake, Derek, and Aiden after marching band and every day. It was just so much fun. Uh, I feel like I belonged with the team especially once marching band was over and I started running in the winter with everyone. And I know everyone says this, but I truly wish that I had started running before last year, so even freshman year or even middle school. Uh, and this year, my cross-country experience became deeper, I guess. Uh, by me becoming more serious about running as well as improving my relationships with all the other runners. Uh, because of cross country, I discovered my love for running and created a new lifestyle with all the people I meet, all the friends I made, as well as incorporating running to my everyday life. Uh, I also created memories that will last me a long time from everyday runs with Luke Hill last year to Luke this year, as well as the runs after marching band last year, uh, as well as all the meets where I ran with Noah and we cheered each other on. Uh, to close, I wanted to shout out everyone from the coaches, Swift and Shields, as well as all the other coaches who worked really hard every day, I know they did, and ran around cheering us on during the races. Uh, I also wanted to shout out every single member on the team from slowest people to the fastest people who just shanked everyone else including me. Uh, people like Noah and Will or Blake and Derek and Luke last year. Uh, each and every member on the team played an important role in shaping who I am today. Uh, to love, or to, to end, I just wanted to say that I look forward to running in the future 
as well as coming and seeing all the home meets next year, cheering on the team. Go Panthers! People always ask me why I do cross country for a sport. I always answer with the same response. It's not really about the running, it's about the people. It usually blows people's mind that cross country really isn't all about running. It's so crazy to think that the amount of time we spend at practice is for my teammates and friends made through it. School is a place where you meet your friends that become your go-to people or your second family. But it's what happens after school that can really bring people together. The time that practically kills us every single day after school is the very thing that's opening me up to opportunities of friendships and endless life lessons, cross country. Cross country for me at first was just something I chose to do instead of volleyball, a default sport you could say. But what it gave me in return for all the hard work that came with it was something far more than a good workout. Cross country has taught me hard work, dedication, and has brought me unbreakable friendships. This year, more than any other, despite the situation and adjustments, has taught me to be appreciative of every opportunity given to me. I want to start off by thanking the coaches, Nikki and Johnson. You guys put in so much work behind the scenes that goes unnoticed. Thank you for taking the time you do to coach and be the reason this team is where we are today. My parents, or my number one supporters, come to every single meet and are always physically possible, everywhere physically possible, they can be on the course. You guys push me so much, sometimes further than, I, further than I even want to be pushed. My friends, Bella, Lauren, Bree, Hannah, and Addie. Bella, I can't even remember the first time you stuck words to each other, but I do know it's because of the sport that we became friends. This wasn't a friendship that was left across country though. We spend so much time together, I swear she gets sick of me. I don't even know how. Lauren, I do remember that my first year of running, you were a freshman and I was a sophomore. It was probably the first day of summer where we ran on Kindle. I think we ran for about a whole 20 minutes side by side without saying one word to each other. All I knew is that I ran with the Lauren Germain and I even went home and told my mom about it. Now that we have grown to telling each other pretty much everything, I'm so grateful it was of cross country. Hannah and Addie. At first, meeting you guys at work was just something, let's just call it, different than how it is now. After getting close with you guys through work, I somehow convinced you to come to cross country in the summer. I don't know how. This has made us so close to each other, and I'm so glad you guys have done this draining sport all season. Bree, from freshman year to now, I'm so proud of who you have become. You are either you are always either in the mood to call someone out or make everyone in the group laugh. You have such a good personality and it's so fun to be around. Tiffany, you are just something else. I remember one practice in the summer specifically that we were doing a tempo run at Eagle Glen. I don't know, it's probably three-ish miles and it was so hot, but you kept up with the big dogs the entire time. I was completely dead after and I remember thinking that this was just a one-time thing, or I don't know how she did that, but I was amazed that day and now for how you continually, continually give this sport your all. The underclassmen, first of all, a different breed of humans, but on a real note, you guys played a huge role in this season. All you guys work so hard every single day and are absolute competitors. All of you bring a different energy to the table, and every one of you are so unique in your own way. You guys are... You guys always want the best for any of your teammates, even if that means you are taken back a few steps. I admire you guys' selflessness, and you guys have taught me so many lessons. Cherish all the time you have left, and seriously do not take any of it for advantage. Event eventually, you are all going to forget about the hard workouts and how hot or cold a practice was. But you will always remember the people you shared all this time with. You guys spend about 12 hours a week together just in practice. Use this time, because you don't always get this time. I'm going to miss being with you guys every single day, but when we go our separate ways, coming back together will be so much more special. Over the last three years, I have made so many memories I will never forget. Some may be considered bad, like the time in Colorado when the coaches decided to take us on a short hike, and we ended up walking down in pouring rain for about two or three miles. And some memories were the best, like the time we were sitting around the fire playing signs, or the time this year when the girls made it to state. This sport really is a sport most people underestimated, but it takes a hardworking person to do it every single day. 
Thank you, and it's a great day to be a panther. Hey, I'm Keith. Um, I like to thank my mom and dad for taking me to the practices my first two years of high school and supporting me throughout this time. I also like to thank my teammates throughout the years, encouraging me to do my best. I also like to thank the coaches for giving their time on getting me faster. Hey, I'm Josh Patterson. I've been running cross country here at Ray Peck for six years now, all through middle and high school. By far, running cross country has been one of the greatest experiences I've ever had. Throughout my time here, I've gotten to know some of, so many great people that have pushed me to be the greatest I can be and to do things I never thought myself capable of doing. I've had a lot of amazing memories with the team, from the first time I went on a travel meet to our Colorado trip and eventually to winning state, my memories with these guys will always be special for me. Over the years, what cross country means to me has evolved to be so much more than a sport. It's a daily dedication to give it your all and approve, alongside the greatest people you could ever hope to meet. Even though I found success and found my place here in cross country, I can never have made it this far without the support of many different people, and I'd like to take a moment to thank them all. Coach Swift, Coach Shields, Coach Johnson, and Coach Eve, thank you all for working so hard to make cross country happen all these years, and for helping us all to be the best we can be. For my, for my family, thank you for always being there for me to support me both on and off the course. And just real quick, I just want to have a very special thank you to my sister Kylie. She's been she's been running cross country all this year too. And even though things have gotten tough this year, it's been a wild year. Just seeing her just love cross country as much as I have really just has inspired me to put give my all and push forward too. And to my teammates, even through this COVID mess, thank you for a great season. I had a blast watching you guys grow and improve right along with me. Thank you everyone from the bottom of my heart for some of the greatest days of my life. To my fellow seniors, I wish you all the best for life outside Ray Peck, and I know you guys will all do, go on to do amazing things. For the team, I can't wait to see how you guys run next season. I know you guys are going to do amazing, and I'm proud of each and every one of you. As for me, I'll keep running until my legs can't carry me anymore. No matter where life takes me, I'll always remember my time here on the cross country team. It's as they say, once a panther, always a panther. Hey guys, pretty crazy we can't be here to celebrate in person. I'm going to miss it all from the early morning run to the midnight relays. Being on this team had made some memories for all of us for sure. From the talks on the long runs and the bus trips to the meets, I want to just say that I love you guys and I'm proud of what we have accomplished my last four years of running with you. And that I'm going to be proud of what you keep accomplishing for years to come. I want to say thank you to my grandparents for making the drive out here all these times to watch me race, even if they were short races sometimes. I want to thank you, say thank you to my dad for always being there and never missing a meet and always cheering me on. I want to say thank you to my mom for always cheering me on too. I want to make sure all the coaches get their thank yous, especially Johnson, for the amount of hard work he puts on the course for us to be ready to run on and for those ice baths. I want to say thank you to Swift for always motivating me and to keep pushing me forward. Um, Shields, can't forget your famous quote, you got to go now. It helped me a lot during the races when I felt like giving up and you were always there. And Eve, thank you for checking all the other pains that I was always complained about, whether they were nothing or, you know, they were something. But thank you. And I love you guys. Have a good day. Um, let me begin with saying that it is a great honor to be able to give the speech. I mean, the whole reason I joined track in the first place was to get my car. When my parents told me I had to join the activity for my car, I remembered uh, a freshman I met in uh, my Principles of Biomedical Science class, uh, who I'd grown quite close to at the time. Um, still a really good friend of mine today. Um, he told me about his experience in running cross country. So when I thought, hey, I should join an activity, I joined sprinting because I was thinking, how hard could it be? Hard. <laughs> it was it was really hard. Um, 
I kept pushing and fighting to get better, but it never happened. Halfway through the track season, however, I was uh, pulled aside by Coach Lift. Basically, he was telling me that I, in sprinting, you either have it or you don't have it, and I didn't have it. <laughs> um, however, he did give me a choice. I could either stay with the uh, sprinting or I could move on the distance, but I was stupid and stubborn and decided not to. Um, and I failed. I failed sprinting. Yes, I did. Um, but towards the end of the track season, I started running with the distance every once in a while, and it was fun. It was great. They were so awesome to a guy that they hardly even knew. Um, so I made the decision to join cross country. And it was the best decision I've ever made. Um, I've had so much fun with this team over the last two years, uh, stretching from the Kindle Rapid scenario to a uh, team trip to Colorado last summer. I honestly didn't think it was possible to have this fun doing a sport because I'm not that athletic. Uh, but I can say that this being a part of this team has made me a better person. And I know with some hard work and dedication, I can accomplish anything, which sounds so cliche, but it's true. I love every single person on this team and can't wait to see exactly what this team accomplishes in the future. Thank you. It's Bree, for those who didn't know. Um, I guess this is my senior speech. This is not how I pictured doing it, but it's a different approach. Um, I guess I'd like to start off by saying that running cross country all four years has been the best experience of my life. Um, from pasta feeds to just hanging out and bonding outside of practice and school just, just was amazing. Um, I'd like to say thank you to the coaches for always being there for me and knowing what's best for me, even though I didn't think so, they were always right. Um, I'd like to say thank you to my m mom and my dad for always being there at my meets, even when it may have been hard to make it. I'd like to thank my siblings for getting up really, really early just to come watch me run and basically just putting up with me having to go with mom and dad to go and get me from practice when I couldn't drive. <laughs> um, I'd like to also thank my teammates for always being so supportive, even when it's really hard. And yeah, thank you. Um, this is going to be hard to talk about in three minutes because I have so much written down, but um, essentially cross country has been everything to me. And I think all the other seniors and even any of the freshmen and sophomores, any runners can agree that it's such an important thing for all of us. And I can say the same, it's literally been everything for me and it made high school about 30 times better. I can't imagine how different I would be if I had never joined, but I'm so glad that I did. Even though I didn't do it in middle school, I'm felt at home as soon as I started and looking up to the upperclassmen, they were so inspiring and I knew, like seeing their bond, I knew that I wanted to be a part of the team, even though, you know, running is hard sometimes, but um, I can't imagine how different I would be if I had not joined and I, uh, I can say that I've built the closest bonds, so that's probably the best part for everybody is the bonds that you build and um, we're so lucky to have a close, accepting team. I always feel comfortable being myself, and I made some of my best friends the cross country, of course, Em, Ashlyn, Lauren, Lainey. I love all of them so much, and just anyone on the team. I literally appreciate so much because 
seeing the hard work that everybody puts in is so inspiring and seeing everyone's personalities just being on the like in the environment is so amazing and it's untouchable really but I have so much appreciation for everyone and Colorado trip last year highlight of my life and I will stand by that <laughs> but there were definitely some drawbacks when it came to my running but for me it was never that was never like a deal breaker for me I think that the bond is the best part and even just the challenge of running is so important just it's such, it's such a mental push and I don't know it just teaches you so much and just being at practice being in the environment with everyone is so amazing and you know how good you feel when you complete a workout, when you have your longest long run, any of that. It makes you feel so good. And um, yeah, waking up at 5.30 in the summer is not enjoyable, but as soon as you get to practice, you know it's worth it and it's something to look forward to. And I never wanted to end despite how early it was, but um, like I said, the environment is just untouchable. And um, with coaches, um, I know that you guys are the best leaders that we could have had on the team. Uh, Johnson, we'll start with you. You do so much for the team. I can never thank you enough. I noticed and appreciated every single thing that you did, and I can tell how much love you have for every single girl on the team. And you're so welcoming and accepting. You always gave me chances and kept me involved, whether I deserve it or not. But I just appreciate you so much. Um, Shields, you're there 24-7. Uh, your personality is motivating, it's so entertaining too, to say the least, and cracking jokes, making it a fun environment, you're very real, you make the team comfortable, and um, <laughs> I wouldn't ask for a better person to train the team, I can see how much work you put into creating the workouts, printing out everyone's stats, all of that, I really appreciate it, and I could tell that you really wanted everyone to do their best, and Swift, you're a great motivator for all the runners, always kept it real, you held the team together. Um, Dudek, Eve, Nikki, whatever. Um, always lightening the mood, caring for anyone and everyone, and I know everyone always says it, but you're the mom of the team. But you're also more than just a mom, you are a friend to everyone, and I know that everyone feels comfortable going to you if they ever need any help. And I enjoy seeing you in social dance also, it's great. And I know I'll see you in the future a lot, but coaches you guys may not know how much the team means to me but I hope you do understand how much the team and how much you mean to me and I don't want it to end I always knew it was coming I dreaded the day but everything that cross country has done for me is so important and it's sad to think that I never get to experience the closeness of the team the bonds ever again but I the hard work that the team puts in I will always hold that as a part of my life and I'm going to miss everybody, the coaches, the running, running with my best friends, the environment, all that. It's really sad to leave, but it's not over yet. And if I could continue this for, for the rest of my life, just know that I would. And I love everybody so much, all the runners. I appreciate all of you so much and just really enjoy the rest of your seasons that you have because one day we'll end but it it definitely has made a lasting impact on me and I would I wouldn't trade I wouldn't trade it for the world. I could talk for days but once a panther, always panther. Is there any other way to end it? <laughs>